for a debt payment of nearly $94 million to cover the principal and interest on its bonds. If it fails to make an additional payment on August 1st, that could constitute a default. If that same scenario were happening in a state, the agency would probably restructure what it owes in bankruptcy, take the city of Detroit. But Puerto Rican agencies can't do that. Marketplace's Andy Euler reports. Puerto Rico has more debt than any state in the U.S., other than California and New York. So why doesn't the Commonwealth just restructure it? What's really weird about Puerto Rico is the Commonwealth has been excluded from the Chapter 9 provisions of the Bankruptcy Code. John Otto teaches at the University of Michigan Law School. He says a bill in Congress that would allow Puerto Rican agencies to file for Chapter 9 is stalled. Fed Chair Janet Yellen said Wednesday she doesn't think the Fed should get involved. Otto says the Commonwealth itself even drafted a bill to try to fix the bankruptcy situation. And they passed that, and that got struck down as unconstitutional. But for ironically violating Chapter 9 of the Federal Bankruptcy Code, which they say preempts it. Even if Puerto Rican agencies continue to miss payments, Stephen Waltz says bondholders aren't in a very powerful position. He's a bankruptcy specialist at the University of Virginia Law School. Waltz says everyone will have to wait and see what happens with legislation before creditors can go about collecting. Okay, there's a default. What are the creditors going to do? I'm Andy Euler for Marketplace. Our senior producer is Nicole Childers. Our online digital producer is Tobin Lowe. In Washington, I'm Amy Scott with the Marketplace Morning Report. From APM, American Public Media. Thanks for joining us today on KCFR FM Denver and KCFC AM Boulder on HD at 90.1 FM and online at cprnews.org. Colorado Public Radio News. Colorado Public Radio is supported by individuals, foundations, and businesses. Thank you to Gates Family Foundation and the Piton Foundation for their collaborative and generous support of expanded education coverage. At cprnews.org, you can read and listen to in-depth Colorado stories on topics such as the environment, the arts, education, and more. At cprnews.org, you can also find additional content from our digital news team, such as photos, graphics, set from the Currency Union, Soraya Sarhadi Nelson, NPR News, Berlin. Nigerian officials say right at least nine Fremont people Drive. have been killed today in a suicide bombing in the northeastern town of Damaturu. The attack came as worshippers gathered to mark the Muslim holiday of Eid al-Fitr. Authorities say the perpetrators appear to have been a young girl and an older woman. No group has claimed responsibility, but such attacks are usually blamed on Boko Haram. The BBC's Chris right Elakoa reports Drive. from Abuja. Two female suicide bombers exploded their devices at an area where worshippers are screened and checked for security before being allowed in into the prayer ground in Damatu. According to the Nigerian army, the explosions occurred just as prayers to mark the end of the month-long Ramadan fast were going underway. Left, the spokesman of the Nigerian right. army said that two bombers were an elderly woman and a 10-year-old girl. The BBC's Chris Elwaka reporting from Abuja. On Wall Street at this hour, stocks are mixed. The Dow Jones Turn Industrial right Average is down Avenue. about 72 points at 18,048. The Nasdaq is up 30 points at 5,193. You're listening to In NPR a quarter News. Mile, turn right onto South Sheridan Court. Support for NPR comes from NPR stations. Other contributors include Citrix, creator of GoToMeeting, connecting people and businesses in face-to-face -face online meetings from any device. Featuring a personalized meeting room for a custom look. Learn more at gotomeeting.com. With Colorado Public Radio News, I'm Mike Lamp. As CPR and NPR have been reporting today, the Aurora Movie Theater shooting trial now moves to a sentencing phase that begins next week. And that's after jurors returned a guilty verdict against James Holmes yesterday. More than 100 right. guilty verdicts. Ben. Holmes was Turn charged left. with murder and attempted murder in the shootings three years ago that left 12 dead and dozens wounded. He was convicted on all counts. Among the shooting victims in 